So we've got a new AI video model that is storming onto the scene. And it's a pretty interesting one because it's free, open source, and a platform. And the platform has some really interesting stuff going on. Now, is it all perfect? No, of course it's not. But there is a lot packed in here that you're definitely going to want to see. So SkyRails is a new AI video model that, again, is both open source and has a platform. This is kind of a brilliant release strategy as it serves, you know, both sides of the AI video sphere. We really haven't seen anything like this since LTX Studio released their video model as open source. I do hope that this is something that we might see more of in the future. Now, I will say there is a little, let's call it nuance when it comes to the platform side of things, but uh, we'll talk about that in just a bit. Now, as for the SkyRail model itself, yes, the V1 version is available right now over on GitHub, both the text-to-video uh, version and the image-to-video version. SkyRail itself is built on top of the also open source Hunyan video model, although trained up on a much larger data set, uh, something to the order of 10 million clips. SkyRails notes that the model was built on a self-developed data cleaning and annotation pipeline that focused on creating a human-centric video foundation foundation model, or, you know, as, as I like to call it, acting. This was developed through expression classification, essentially taking human facial expressions and breaking them into 33 distinct types. Action recognition and scene understanding. We'll take a look more at scene understanding when we hit the platform side. Some really interesting stuff there. And finally, rounding out on the open source side of things, uh, the image to video model kicks out at a resolution of 544 by 960, uh, 97 frames at 24 frames a second, basically a little over four seconds. And in case you're interested in some timings, AI Primus ran some tests on an RTX 4090, four second video uh, with 18 and a half gigs of VRAM, took about 30 minutes and a 289 nine frame video took about one and a half hours. Now, in terms of the platform and to note, the platform itself, of course, is not free. You do get two free generations uh, to just to try it out. We'll go over what the plans are in a little bit. As of earlier today, the AI drama section here was actually free. That banner seems to have disappeared. Uh, we are going to take a look at this section because I think there's some really interesting stuff in here. Uh, that said, the free banner disappeared. I'm not sure if it's because I bought a bunch of credits so that we could test this out. And lastly, I was scrolling through the community feed on SkyRails and I, I ran across this generation. I gotta ask, is that me? I mean, look, given the YouTube channel, I've long since made peace with the fact that this mug is going to be in some training data set. So I guess I can't really complain, especially considering, you know, I'm in a cool leather jacket and, you know, standing in some noir crime alley. Now, all that said, there is a lot going on on the SkyRails platform. I'm not going to be able to get through all of this, obviously, but I did want to point out they do have their own image generator on platform. I mean, it's probably Flux, but they also have their own video editor on here. Now, I haven't really gotten the chance to play around with this yet, but uh, this does mark the first time that I have seen a video editor built into an AI video generator. Now, in terms of video generation, you can, of course, do your standard text to video as well as image to video here. The slightly tricky part here uh, is the various modes. I did talk to the SkyRails team about this a little bit last night, and I, it's a pretty interesting approach in all honesty. Uh, you obviously have auto, fast, high, and stable. Basically, under the hood here, there are a number of different models. They didn't tell me which ones, but I mean, I have to presume it's the usual API suspects and the SkyRail V1 model. Now, the interesting approach that they're taking here, especially if you leave it on the auto mode, is that essentially the, the platform will decide which model to use based off of your prompt to you know, optimize the best output. So I will say that after a lot of testing and consulting, shout out to Tonon and Brent Lynch for that, uh, I've pretty much determined that the high quality mode at five seconds is the new model. So I did run exclusively in that mode and kicking off with some text to video. Uh, here, the prompt was very simple. In a blazing desert, a man in a black robe walks next to a horse. And yeah, I mean, pretty decent output. We did end up with another horse and a rider tagging along here. I will say in later examples, the prompt coherence gets a lot better, you know, but for the most part, not too bad. I would say, you know, to be honest, like Sora light um, in terms of its output. Another text to video prompt that I've been kind of having some fun with. Uh, here is a Viking warrior holding a cup of coffee in an epic fantasy shot. And yeah, I mean, pretty solid. The character himself definitely reads as solidly Viking. I do like the fact that it put like a little coffee cup in his hand too, not like a giant flag 
wagon of coffee. A few minor issues. We do have like a little bit of a thumb twitch going on there, almost like a double jointed thing. Although I don't know how much coffee he has. Maybe he's just super jittery. And in the background, we do have like a little bit of light morphing going on here and here, but really not that big a deal. Now, obviously image to video is the workflow that most of you prefer. Uh, so checking in on our man in a blue business suit. Last we saw him, he was trapped on a mysterious island, entered a cave and had a like Lynchian dream sequence about his ex-wife. Uh, let's see where he is now. Apparently he's waking up from a nap with no idea how he got here. Uh, the image itself was generated up in mid journey and the prompt here is uh, very simple. A man wakes up from a nap, confused as to where he is. No talking. Overall, really impressed with the output here. It definitely circles back to that human-centric training that Sky Reels talked about. It does look like a very natural reaction. We could split hairs a little bit and say, like, does he look confused or does he look regretful? There is definitely a read on this scene in which, you know, our guy is waking up going like, where am I? Oh God, what did I do last night? Another prompt direction test, image to video, of course. Uh, the prompt here is she smiles at the camera and then walks away. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much exactly what we got. There's actually a lot of cool stuff happening here. Uh, for one, this guy, how he just turns and watches her walk away. I mean, that's kind of impressive. Uh, secondly, the fact that, you know, the model infers essentially, you know, what she's wearing as well and kind of gets the wardrobe correct as well. Uh, really solid there. Now, I did notice a bit of a permanence problem here. Uh, she's, of course, holding the lantern here. As she turns to walk away, uh, she drops her hand and the lantern is no longer there. Um, that said, there's really nothing to say that she maybe didn't, you know, hook the lantern onto her, you know, satchel, I guess. But still, that's a fairly minor note. And I think that, you know, in all honesty, most people probably wouldn't notice that. Another example here where something kind of insane happens. Uh, the prompt here is just the man lowers the gun and starts laughing. Um, we'll see the output here. Um, yeah, he's he, he definitely thought whatever joke that was was pretty funny. And I'll say that my initial reaction was like, oh, these guys look a little bit on the static side. They are moving, but there's like a lot more kind of like happening on this side with the smoke billowing. And then I realized that this guy that walks across the screen and ends up, uh, I guess, like collecting wagers from these guys. Yeah, he's not in the source image, meaning, you know, the model created that character and then gave him something to do. That's pretty crazy. Another test here with an image evoking like a steampunk movie if it were shot in the 80s. Uh, the idea here being to test out the spatial awareness that was touted in the open source model, particularly with two characters interacting. The prompt here, once again, very simple. The man and the woman look at each other and express concern. I mean, yeah, really great output here. She's definitely asking like, do you smell that? And he's like, I don't know what you're talking about. That's just steam. Now I will note that there's a bit of a problem with eye lines. If you notice at the beginning of the clip, um, our guy kind of, it's, it's almost like he's looking past her before he shifts his gaze over. Uh, that said, I think that's a probably a pretty easy fix, um, either by re-rolling it a few times or maybe by adding a camera move in. Speaking of camera moves, yeah, the model does do camera moves pretty well. Uh, this is kind of a, like an eyes wide shut, Barry Lyndon inspired uh, image. And uh, giving that a prompt of camera rotates left, we end up with this, which does look really good. All of our characters are, you know, remaining consistent. Those masks in particular, I really expected to, you know, morph into something horrific. Um, even like the candles lit in the center there aren't hallucinating out to become like a raging bonfire. We do have like one candle that kind of pops into existence here. And then there's like this weird like ghost note that's floating around back there. But again, this is like a weird, creepy secret society. Who's not to say that this isn't all part of the ritual. We also have a storyboard function down here. This is actually something that I very much praised Sora for getting right. And while I'll say that the storyboard function here acts somewhat similarly, uh, there are things like you can't trim back like you can in Sora. That said, uh, there is kind of a cool idea here in that if we click add new video, you can actually do your last frame from this previous video as well. So as you know, first frame, last frame essentially, but yeah, kind of done in a pretty smart way. So utilizing the storyboard function, we now have, you know, our two shots back to back. Um, yeah, this is our second shot. This guy's like, sorry, I can't see in this mask. I totally bumped into you. Finally, rounding out on prompting with just no prompt, letting the model just kind of do its own thing. Uh, this image always kind of cracks me up. So running that again, no prompt. I mean, to be honest, it kind of gets a little more hilarious with our astronaut trying to obviously drink coffee through his mug. I do love this guy over here that goes for an invisible inkwell and then just starts writing on nothing. We do have a little bit of like wacky fingers happening here with this lady, but you know, for the most part, what I think I'm really impressed with is that each of the characters 
in this shot like have something to do running out with a quick test on style consistency it definitely does seem to hold pretty well uh here's a quick test that i cribbed together uh kind of like i just like two like gangsters in some kind of like drinking contest or about to have a drinking contest and then you know clearly the guy that's going to kill them all walks into the bar uh but yeah overall you know again style consistency holding i keep saying like we're gonna see a really big swing in ai animation this year Rounding out, I did just want to quickly cover this AI drama section here. Uh, this is interesting. I wouldn't necessarily call it completely ready for prime time yet, but there's a lot of really interesting ideas here. So this kind of acts as like the movie generator thing. You you know put together uh, a prompt in terms of the story you want to tell. Apparently, you can upload a script or a novel. Uh, I did start one of these. And what I'll say is that during the scripting phase of it here, what it's actually doing is taking your storyline here and kind of generating out uh, an episodic structure for each of these. They're kind of like one minute shorts. Um, so yeah, it'll start generating up a script of whatever you provided it for inspiration. From here, you can go through and cast your actors, um, you know, changing the looks around if you want to, uh, even importing images in in order to you know serve as the template for those characters now that is all stuff that we have seen before and then obviously we move into the storyboard format what i haven't seen is the fact that when you go into your initial shot oh, we actually have pose references here um that is something that i have not seen so we're supposed to have two characters in this shot uh and i can you know do this sort of over the shoulder shot here i can then assign characters to those poses so in our yellow bounding box obviously we have our female character and then in our red bounding box we have our male character uh hit confirm on that we now have our characters in those poses now i will say that um the characters are still having a bit of trouble in terms of full consistency but um they are working on that as well as background consistency so um hopefully they solve that because the ability again to control camera poses and or character placement uh, it's a pretty big deal there is lip sync available as well although i do have to say i think that you know essentially the weakest part of all of this is in the ai generated voices here take a listen to this real quick my child you are my greatest pride there is still a long way to go i can't walk with you anymore now, I do not mean to make light of bootleg Amy Adams losing her AI dad, but I'm also pretty sure that he was a robot to begin with. Now, while I do throw some stones at the kind of stilted AI emoting, um, that might not be a problem for very long because, uh, well, Sky Reels also has Sky Reels A1, expressive portrait animation in Video Diffusion Transformers. Uh, once again, open source code is available. Now, this is that driving video to AI character acting uh, thing. We have definitely seen this before. Um, I am hopeful that they will be adding a, you know, driving video to video component to this because I really do feel, and I think most of you agree with me as well, is that in order to get over that kind of like uncanny AI performance hump, uh, well, I mean, you need to use real human performances. All of which adds up to Sky Reels being a platform that I think it's definitely worth checking out. Uh, in terms of pricing, again, you know, all of the open source stuff is, of course, open source and free. Uh, if you're going the platform route, uh, you end up with, uh, you know, essentially 300 credits for a new register. It basically comes out to like three or four videos, uh, 50 credits daily, which essentially comes down to two videos. And then at a basic plan, uh, $7.9, uh, so $7.90 or $76 uh, per month for like, you know, the big daddy plan. No unlimited plan as of yet. I have been bugging all of them that do not have unlimited plans to have unlimited plans. I'm sure this is not the last time we'll be looking at the platform. Uh, Again, there's still a bunch of other stuff in there. I definitely want to try out that video editor. Um, but in the meantime, I thank you for watching. My name is Tim.